Back to the start now to take a look at the men's 25-mile title race, where Jason McIntyre was back to defend the title he won in 2006. But he was up against multi-champion Michael Hutchinson, who just won the 10 for a fifth time in eight years, plus the former national 25 champion and world pursuit champion, Graham O'Brien. 125 men were down to ride, and the first one we see getting away is Dominic Sweeney of Team Lutterworth, who set a good early standard with a time of 53.25, only five seconds slower than the early leader, Pete Tadros, of the in-gear Quickvit outfit. Here's Keith Murray of Wheel Spin Cycles going well, as usual, and on his way to a 53.34, which would eventually give him 11th place. Equally at home on the road during the summer and competing and winning in cyclocross during the winter, Murray is a true lover of cycling. Here's another former 25 champion and world champion, Chris Newton of the Recycling Racing Team. Chris won this title in 1999, but would his time of 50.47, fastest so far, be enough for a second win with Hutchinson and McIntyre still to come. With Graham O'Brien a non-starter, next before our camera was former BBAR Gethin Butler of Preston Wheelers. On his first lap here with Arctic's Danny Axford on his second, Butler went on to clock 54.10 for 17th place. Axford was eventually 27 seconds slower and six places lower down the final finishing order from the 2006 Rudy Project Series winner. This is former GHS 10 and Junior 10 and 25 champion Alex Dowsett of 100% Me, fresh from a bronze medal ride in the Senior 10 two weeks before. Dowsett clocked an excellent 51.37 to go into second place behind Newton. Sam Barker of the DeRosa Racing Team came next, looking to improve on his disappointing 31st place in the 10. A time of 54.18 was perhaps not all he'd hoped for, but it was good enough for 18th place at the end of the day. Here's Sean Childs of the Royal Navy and Royal Marines on his way to a 53.44 and 13th place. Whilst just behind him, but only on his first circuit, 63 years old Roger Iddles of the Starbridge CC. Iddles was a competition record holder almost 40 years ago, and here he was clocking a splendid 55-35 to easily take his age group award. Dorosa's Matt Bottrill, winner of the Junior 10 and BBAR back in 1995, was a bronze medalist in this event in 2006, but a time of 53-33 was only good enough for an eventual 10th place on this occasion. But now to Ingear's in for Michael Hutchinson. Fresh from his 10-mile victory over Jason McIntyre, his 19th individual distance championship, he was clearly on song again and went through half distance in a time of 25-4. His finishing time was a terrific 50-01, a new course record. But would it be enough? Behind him came comeback man Richard Preble, and he was not on a good day. The Pinarello man, twice winner of this title, suffered the indignity of being caught by Hutchinson on his way to a disappointing 54-8 and a modest 16th place. Next came Ben Instone, the A3RG man who came fourth in the 10. He'd lost a full minute to Hutchinson at half distance, but fared better over the second half to clock 51-50 for an eventual fifth place. But now to the defending champion, Jason McIntyre, so narrowly beaten by Hutchinson in the 10. Now with the Edge Racing Team, the Scotsman stormed through halfway in 24.43, some 21 seconds faster than his rival. It looked as if his title defence was going to prove successful. There were plenty of spectators awaiting McIntyre's arrival, and he didn't disappoint, catching in stone just before the finish. His time, 49.44, gave him the title once again, gaining revenge over Hutchinson with the first 30 miles per hour 25 ever seen in the Liverpool District Council.